Before any modeling or deliverable creation can be performed, the data should be checked for blunders. These can be in the form of incorrect point IDs, wrong backsight points, and many other errors. The first thing to check is the project settings. Here, the coordinate system and units can be adjusted. In this case, we will not change any settings. In project settings, you can find all the user selectable options for performing computations, view windows, tolerances, adjustments, and other important information. Notice there is an error in the bottom right corner signified by the red flag. This signifies to the users that there are errors in this project. Selecting this flag brings up the flags pane. Here, we can see that the free station's points could not be computed. This is a result of a free stand and scan station. Later on in this video series, I will explain how to register these scan stations to correctly align with the station setup data. This will eliminate the flag. The optical spreadsheet can be used to view the total station and rangefinder observations in the project. To open this, navigate to the survey tab and select new optical spreadsheets. Or right click on a total station observation and select new optical spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will display the observation ID, measured to and from stations, instrument and target heights, horizontal and vertical precision, and the time the observation was recorded. Click on the column headings to change the sorting and filter the data displayed. To view more information on selected points or observations, open the properties pane by clicking this icon in the quick access toolbar. To select an observation, left click on the row. This will highlight the observation in the plan and 3D view. Alternatively, in the plan or 3D view, you can left click an observation and select total station observation. This will highlight the selection in the optical selection. Modifications made in the properties box or optical spreadsheet will be reflected in the views of your data. For example, if I add a meter to the instrument height, the points do not align with the point clouds. This is a useful tool for quality control. A useful function for editing total station data or importing total station data is the total station editor. This is found in the survey tab under the optical settings and I will select the already imported data under the JXL file. In this editor, I can edit instrument and target heights, station and backsight coordinates and feature codes. TBC is able to perform PPM corrections to the total station and scan data if the proper atmospheric corrections are inputted in Trimble Access or edited here in TBC. To edit the PPM corrections, navigate to the Project Explorer on the left pane. Expand the Scans panel and select S1. Here, you can edit the corrections in the Properties panel. Once the data has been checked for blunders, we are ready to move on to deliverable creation.